Uh, this is a short story one of my friends told me to write. And all they gave me as a prompt was uh, Sandra turns into a mallard. And basically, this is an example of what I came up with in 12 minutes. It's about 334 words. And I wrote it on an app using my phone because it's faster than using a Chromebook. And yeah. Um, the scene is called As Experiences Form and Bonds Break. A unique point of view. And then the book, or not the book, whatever he told me, right? I called it, uh, what was it? From a different side of the pond. I think It says dot, 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 but I'm guessing that's what I put because it seems like it. Uh, let me see. Yes, from a different side of the pond. Okay. Um, a unique point of view. Sandra McMillard was just like any other girl. At least she was until this morning. It should have been just like any other morning. The only issue is the world she saw around her was re the world she saw around her was reduced to nothing more than the shades of black, white, and gray. Well, there was that and the fact that her bed, clothes, bedroom, among a multitude of other things suddenly disappeared as if they faded out of existence. Uh Yeah, I, I read that wrong, but it's okay. Uh, among a, a multitude of other things uh, that suddenly disappeared as if they faded out of existence. Actually, her skin, the slight little arm and leg hairs that seemed to naturally curl, making her seem so much like a man seemed to disappear as well. As a matter of fact, her entire body seemed to be covered in duck feathers. <laughs> If this was someone's idea of a sick practical joke, they uh, then they should learn to grow up. <laughs> at least that's what she start, started shouting at the top of her lungs. All that managed to come out, however, were loud quacks. Worst of all was the fact that Sandra McMillard hated water. Showers may have been mandatory, but one thing she would have, uh, one thing she would refute to the point of fighting for her life was swimming as a matter of fact uh, she couldn't swim whatsoever actually she wasn't even able to float or wait above water her motto with her friend Alondra was if you run I run if you swim I sink wherever you go I'll follow even if it's in spirit speaking of her friend Alondra she happened to be walking right down the street beside beside the pond Sa Sandra would always avoid. Sandra did her best to rush over to her friend, but for some reason, it was taking much longer than it usually would to run there. That was when she noticed something. Alondra was crying uncontro uncontrollably while, she, while walking with her older brother, staring at a picture of her and Sandra. Or Sandra. Yep. Naturally, <laughs> Sandra started to panic inciting her to run towards her best friend even faster. Yet there was still one thing standing in her way, or rather, rippling water. Or, or rather, rippling water. Yeah, you get the idea. So, uh, apparently, uh, punctuation... Uh, misinterpreted leads to me reading it twice so yeah so i'll read that one last time yet there was still one thing standing in her way or rather rippling water already spoiled anyways uh that's a sample of what i wrote in 12 minutes without doing a grammar check and um yeah uh so this is basically uh, a call to everyone out there who's willing to uh, let me try to do like uh, like three people. I need three people who want me to ghostwrite something for them. Uh, and I'll do so without charging them. 
so I can post it on uh, Thumbtack and get work to pay for the books I actually write and publish uh, for myself. And in order to hire a cover artist and an editor, it got quite pricey. So <laughs> uh, I would, uh, I'm asking for assistance basically um, in order to continue doing uh, a career I love. And um, right now I have two books published uh, and the second one is called If the Months Only Mattered, uh, which I actually just did a podcast for yesterday. And to sum it up, like really, really sum it up, it's for all those other uh, people out there. I'm not going to say all those other people out there, but for all those out there uh, who also fell in love with the idea of someone who cared. Um, and instead of falling in love with the person themselves, uh, they just were infatuated with the idea of someone to fill the void. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you.